Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to log in or create an iCloud account. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on your iPhone, on your MacBook, as well as on the iCloud web. So have one or both of these devices on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So the first way we're going to go over is on your iPhone. Um, and to create an iCloud account or log into your existing iCloud account, you're going to go in to your Apple settings and we're gonna click on the Apple ID at the top here. So since mine is logged in, um, my name and my initials are gonna be at the top there. If they, w if I wasn't logged in, however, then it would simply just say Apple ID. So we'll select this, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and sign out just so that I can show you what the process looks like when you're already signed out. When I sign out, it's going to copy my iCloud data so that when I sign back in, it's all going to be put back in place. I'm not going to lose any of that pre-existing data that I did have. Okay, so now that I'm signed out, what we'll find at the top is um, the sign in to your iPhone option here. So I'm going to click this and there's a few different options here. So I can either sign in to my pre-existing Apple ID by either selecting sign in manually or we can use another Apple device. So for example, if my MacBook uses the same Apple ID as my iPhone. What I can do is bring one of those one of these devices close to my iPhone and it'll sign in automatically for me. Otherwise, we can choose that sign in manually option. And when we click this, all we'll do is enter our email or phone number that's attached to this account, followed by the password. Then we'll hit continue and it'll sign us in from there. If we didn't have an Apple ID, we can select that we don't have one at the bottom here. And this is where you will create your Apple ID. So uh, you're just going to follow the prompts. You're going to enter your first and last name as well as your date of birth. And then you're going to hit continue at the bottom. And then we're going to enter the email address that we want to be used as our Apple ID. Well, we have a couple options here. We can put in an email address if we have a preferred one that we want to use. But if you didn't have an email address, you're going to click this blue link here. What iCloud will do is create an email for you to put in um, and use as your Apple ID. All you'll do is select that get an iCloud email address and it'll do that for you. And then once that email address has been entered, it's going to bring you to your Apple ID password page where you're going to create your Apple ID password. Once you have it typed out, you'll have to verify that password by just typing the exact same one and then you'll hit continue. Beneath the password verification, what you'll find are the requirements for that password. This is just going to tell you that your password must be at least eight characters. It has to include a number and an uppercase letter and a lowercase letter. Once you meet all these requirements, then you can go forward. Next, it's just going to ask um, for you to verify your phone number and it's going to send you a text message or a phone call with the number on displayed on the screen. If for some reason this isn't the correct number, you'll select use a different number at the bottom there. But if this number is correct, you're just going to click continue. And last but not least, you will have to go through the terms and conditions and agree to them. Once you've agreed to the terms and conditions, give your phone a few moments and your Apple ID should be set up successfully and ready to use. Signing in is going to be a um, much faster process. So I'm just going to select this sign in manually. I'm going to enter my Apple ID email, and then I'm going to click continue. It's going to ask me to type in my password as well. Now it's popping up on my iPad. So I got a verification code. I typed it in um, and received it on my other Apple device. And now, as you can see, it is signing me back in. For other privacy purposes, it's going to ask for me to enter my passcode. And then I have the option to either merge or not merge my free form on this iPhone. And now I am successfully signed back in to my Apple ID and all of my data should be back in place. Um, nothing should be missing. Okay, now let's jump over to my MacBook and I'm going to show you guys how to do this on there. I'm also going to show you how to do this on the web. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through Super Stickers. Super Stickers basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue creating content for you guys. So thanks and let's get back to the video. So to get to our Apple ID on the MacBook, we're going to go up to the top left corner and select the Apple logo. So this is going to bring down that drop down menu where we're going to go to system settings and at the top of our system settings, we'll find our Apple ID once again. So we're going to click on this and I 
now I'm going to sign out of it once again, just by going to the bottom. I'm gonna click that sign out option. Okay, so now we have that sign in option at the top. We'll click on this. And just as before, we have a couple different options. We can either sign into a pre existing Apple ID account or we can create an Apple ID account. So I'm gonna show you how to create an account first. We're gonna go down to the bottom right corner and we're going to select that we do not have an account. And now we're gonna follow the prompts on the screen just as before. So we'll start out with our date of birth and then we're gonna select next. We're gonna enter our first and last name and then we're going to enter the email address that we want to be used as our Apple ID. And like I mentioned before, if you didn't have an email you wanted to use for some reason, you can select that get a free iCloud email here and iCloud's just gonna generate an email for you that you can use um, for your Apple ID. And then beneath this, we're gonna enter our password again. This is gonna have to have those same requirements as before, so at least eight characters includes a number and an upper and lower case. Once you've verified that password, you're gonna click next. You're, we're gonna enter our phone number to verify our identity. Once we click next, we're gonna receive a text message with a code that we're gonna enter. Okay, and then once that uh, verification code has been entered and we click next, the last thing we're gonna do is just scroll through and check off the terms and conditions agreement. And then we'll click agree and our new Apple ID should be successfully created once again. If I were to sign in to a pre-existing Apple ID, I'm just gonna click, um, I'm gonna enter my email here. Then I'll click continue and I'll be prompted to enter that, e um, that password. Click continue again. And now I've been sent a verification code on my iPad. Once my identity has been verified, it's just gonna sign me back in. This may take a few moments as it's gonna download all my data and everything, and I will be prompted to enter my password for this MacBook. Perfect, now I'm signed back in to my Apple ID. Lastly, I'm gonna show you guys how to, how to sign in to your Apple ID and how to create an Apple ID on um, the web. So we're gonna launch our browser. And then we're going to search appleid.apple.com and we'll click on that first link here, the My Apple ID here. On this page, we have a couple different options again. We can either sign in, this is going to be in the top right hand side of the screen. And then to the right of this, we have the Create Your Apple ID option here. First, we'll go over creating our Apple ID. We'll click on this and we're just going to follow all of the prompts and enter all of our information in here, starting with our first and last name followed by our birthday. Next, we're gonna enter in our new Apple ID uh, email address. So on the web, we're not given that same um, option as before. There is no option for iCloud to generate that email for you. So you will have to enter an email. Next, we'll enter the password and then we'll confirm our password. We'll enter our phone number and just make sure that it's in your country. And then we can choose to either verify with a text message or a phone call. I'm gonna verify with a text message. We're gonna scroll down. And here it actually requires you to type the characters in the image. This is just to prove that you're not a robot or AI. And then at the bottom here, you have the option to uh, generate a new code if one is too hard to read. Or for, to the right of this, for the visually impaired, you can actually have it read out the letters and numbers on the screen. Then we need to verify our email address to create our new Apple ID. So we'll just have to sign into that email and type in that code. Once we verify it through our email, we'll have to verify it through our phone number as well. So we're going to receive another code and then we'll hit continue. And now my new Apple ID has been created and I can save my password and all of my information in here. Now to sign in to a pre-existing Apple ID, I'm going to click sign in here. I can click it up in the top right corner or I can select it here. And I'm simply just going to enter in my email address Then I will be prompted to um, either continue with my password or continue with my pass key. Then I'll have to type in that verification code. And now I'm signed back in to my Apple ID. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that one of these methods worked for you and you were able to either create an Apple ID or sign back into one. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.